The only issue I've ever had with these batteries is that over time, they get to where they won't charge all the way up to 100%. And every week or so, they'll start dropping another percentage. And then you have to go back in and fix that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Overall, this entire system requires very little maintenance. And in the last year, the only thing I've ever had to do is twice go in and fix this one issue. Let's get into it. So we're gonna jump over to the monitor section and I'm just gonna scroll down here to show you the graph. And you can see that we're at 95% state of charge. It's been charging all night. So what I'm gonna do is go over to maintenance and then, um, well, I wanted to fix it here, but I'm gonna to have to go back to the old settings page and we're gonna click on this. And then we're gonna click read for the master inverter here. And then we're gonna change the lithium and EG4. We're gonna change this over to lead acid because we need to be able to set the actual charge voltage. Now you can't see what I'm doing for some reason, but I've got a drop down menu and I'm adding the amount of batteries I have. I don't know that that's really what I need to do or that it's necessary, but I've gone ahead and, well, I, I set it to the wrong value. So let me go back and fix that real quick. There we go. All right. So now that we've done that, um, I'm just going to hit set. And now I'm going to scroll down and I'm looking for the charge voltage. There it is. Okay. So you can see it's at 57. I actually have already changed this over in the mobile app. Um, and I'm checking here to see if it's charging and it kind of not really 74 watts going in so let's go back make sure that it's changed on all the inverters but you know what before we do that let's go ahead and hit start quick charge um, i am charging at the moment due to just the settings that i have but i'm going to hit quick quick charge just to make sure and of course you can also do this with a charge verter but this is kind of the easiest way to do it without having to set anything else up so we're going to go back to maintenance and i've got to switch back over to the old settings um, hopefully they'll update all that pretty soon. Got to read this, make sure we're good. Um, this is set. Um, yep, let's go to this one. All right, so this inverter is still on lithium, so let's change to lead acid. It's set. Oh, we've got to change the capacity. Well, at least I'm... Hey, look at that. It actually showed up that time for you. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's hit set. And then let's scroll down to the charge voltage. And this one's already at 57 as well, um, probably left over from last time. We're gonna go ahead and check the next of the three, I think this is the final of the three inverters, hit read, and change from lithium. And you're gonna repeat this as many times as you have inverters. If you only have one inverter, you're just gonna do it once. All right, we're continuing on. And we're gonna hit set. And then we're gonna go all the way back down and make sure that the the charge voltage is 57. So we're gonna change this back to 57, hit set. Now we're gonna check back over at monitor and look at that, it's charging at 934 watts. And um, you know, as it's you know set toward the end of this, it's creeping up on 100%, it's gonna be slowing down for sure. So it's not, it's not dumping a ton of energy into it. I'm gonna refresh, just kind of make sure things look good. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time and then come back and take a look and see, make sure that it's actually increasing that state of charge from 95 and taking it up to 100%. So as I'm going back through here and I'm looking at the recording, I'm realizing that down here at the bottom of the screen, you can see that it is already showing 100% SOC. So that in comparison with early on in the video, it definitely was saying 95 while it was saying that it was done charging. Now we're back to 100% and it appears that that is all that needs to be done to recalibrate and reset the state of charge. It's just one of those glitchy things that for whatever reason, the BMS just kind of gets out of whack. And so by pushing it to that 57 volts, it allows it to go, oh man, okay, so this is what full looks like. And so from that point on, it actually um, registers at 100% and then <clears throat> allows you to utilize the entirety of the battery. I want to give a shout out to Gavin Stone DIY Homestead. He, in a private chat, actually tipped me off to this issue and um, made it so that uh, basically I was able to, to fix this in just a few minutes. Um, I did use the charge verter like I had mentioned previously the first time and that worked great but um, doing it right here is actually easier. So yeah, thanks Gavin. 
Now, of course, don't forget to go back and change back to lithium and then change to EG4, which is zero. It's the first one if you have these batteries, which is, of course, you do because that's why you're watching this video. And then go ahead and do that for all three of your inverters or however many inverters you have. And then at that point, you're pretty much set for another six months or so. It really is pretty simple and these batteries are fantastic. Also, if you're looking at picking up a couple more of these batteries or change over to the wall mount or purchase anything else from Signature Solar, I would greatly appreciate it if you would utilize my link in the description below. And that will also give you $50 off any order over 500 bucks and it helped me out a ton. So I appreciate that. I'm Eric with East Texas Homestead, encouraging you to live faithfully and prepare thoroughly for good times or bad. I'll see you on this video over here.